up, you a fucking Australian piece of shit? Suspect. Fuck music. Oh shit, later kid! What's <laughs> up, Mr. Brax? Flashback. I'm gonna have to make this group not send me notifications. Alright, who turned in this poor guy? <clears throat> Let's change my cam. I need to buy a new cam. It's coming soon though. Don't worry. It's too dark. Whatevs. Oh shit, this guy sucks. <laughs> teach you how to aim? I'll teach you how to aim, Brax. Is that the first thing you want to learn? What's up, power skills? Yeah. The reaction times are fucking... Like... My god, he's gonna run through it. I'm gonna duck right here, because it looks like a good spot, mate. It's gonna... I mean, I mean, look at what he's facing, like, he's facing a, a bison, a bison, and an og. You know this is like some sh silver ass shit. Wait, what's like the lowest? Is that like Nova? This is some Nova shit. Some, the whole Nova team got real pissed and submitted this silver player. I'm gonna sit by the car and aim at nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing tutorials today, man. In like two seconds, as soon as I say this guy's cheating. Because he's blatant. I'm gonna throw a flash under that blue container. <laughs> I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump around the corner. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna go out long in. My reaction time is the best. <laughs> I'm gonna go up on top side and play it. I know the code. Seven three five five six six zero eight. I'm Dust Moret. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think double case is best. <laughs> Those reaction times, though. Yeah, right. You pointed that out, man. You pointed that out. That's my voice for like anyone. If I'm talking as like another person, that's the voice I use. Oh, there's a smoke? I'm gonna fucking run through that. <laughs> Let me get, I'm gonna get in here. Yeah. He kind of looked like he had some vision assistance there. I'm gonna crouch down middle. I'm gonna. 
I'm gonna throw the worst. I'm gonna throw a flash into the corner. Blind no one. I'm gonna throw a pizza nade. Where the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. He threw a nade here in the middle of nowhere. And then he had the worst timing taps ever. He was tapping way too fast. If someone, you know. If you haven't watched my videos, he's tapping way too fast. Oh god. Oh god. This guy's cheating. I'm gonna throw another flash under the blue. <laughs> this guy throws the worst flashes ever. This guy might as well be saving $400 around. What the hell kind of. What is he flashing in there? He's literally throwing a flash under the blue container. Oh my god. Insufficient, insufficient, insufficient. Postponed judgment. I don't know yet. Gotta rewatch that one. <laughs> uh, submit that verdict there, boys. Alright. Start off on nuke. I know, right, sex ever? Someone. Someone was trolling. They had to have him report as a joke. <laughs> What's up, Draga? Dragadian? Yeah, Morgan's hiding. She doesn't want to do a Q&A. Morgan, you want to be part of my Q&A? Yeah? Okay. EXE prac. And we're gonna yo look at this command now boys. Turn off the crosshair real quick, you know, like zero cross hair size zero. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Alright. What you gonna do here is come in there, break that window, and then come around here and then do a little scoot. A little scoot! 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 Alright, I'm done. I was having fun. Alright, what's the first question of the day? Is it possible to jump from top of the hut into window? Actually, it is, Power Skills. It is. I've only done it one time in my life. It, it's, it's not like Source. Like, you have to literally be perfect. Like, I probably can't even hit it. Let me, let me put my stuff back on. Like, I've made it into the hut window once. I never see anyone do it, though. Like, it's really tight. Like, you you barely fit. Oh, oh, shit, I guess I'm nuts. I guess I really never practiced it because it's kind of tough. Because you can't, you can't, like, jump really close to it and just try scooting in. It's got to be, like, an angled, like, perfect jump. You know what I mean? Like, something like that. Whatever. Can you fall from the roof of hut into window? Oh, is that what you're talking about? Oh, you can fall. Oh, you're talking like this? You can really? I never even never even tried that. Fucking Can you? You're saying just like this dust? Cause as soon as I'm leaving, I'm let me get perfect with the middle of the window. This is fucking prime. Alright, that right there is prime. I'm learning myself, guys. Gonna scoot. Tuck. Uh, I don't know. Crappa? What are you doing? So awesome? It's super hard. Super hard. You need to strafe. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, you need to strafe like when you're going like this way, yeah. Whatever. I recommend not to jump in the window. Yes, it's possible. It's tough. Please say turn down. Turn down for what? <laughs> uh, can I give you a kiss through the window? N to the camera? No. <laughs> to the window. Main rafter spray. I'll show you some rafter. I'm gonna turn down this volume. Turn you the rafter sprays I do. So if you know, you can you can hear this. I'll turn this a little bit higher. 
But w when you hear someone jumping onto yellow, you can hear them like hit this pole right here, or hit this pipe. And usually when they hit, you hit this pipe, they're jumping like on these pipes here. And so you'll want to spam like right here. It's right like that. So if they're like right here, boom, it's pretty much, it's pretty hard to miss him, honestly. Even if you're down here. Or if you're up here. I, I actually like to get on this mid beam. If sometimes you see me playing like right here. Because I'm just listening for them to jump on yellow. And then I like this angle the best for spamming it right here. For someone that's on this pipe. Because someone's, they got to get on this pipe to get up here. You know what I mean? Like they can't be hiding down here. Pick it up, obviously. So they got to be w at here at one point. So I always spam this. And you can kind of see the angle that you spam it at right here. So, always get that one if you're back here. You can kind of just spray above those windows there. It pretty much it's all over. Like, you can't really tell. Like, if he's close right here, that's going to rape him. If he's back here, it's, like, really far away. I never go for this spam. I always go for a guy peeking, like, close here outside or jumping on those pipes. This maybe works on 128, but never 64. What are you talking about? What's the best way to take upper? I'm assuming as a terrorist. Honestly, even if you're not taking upper fast, you should always be breaking this door. It really causes a pain for the CTs. Because late round, you can just walk out the door. You know, like 30 seconds left, you can walk out the door. Or they don't know if you're rushing. So sometimes you have like one guy on, one guy on your team that just throws his nade set at the beginning of every round pretty much. or For a couple rounds at least. So break door, you know, flash out smoke out and so it kind of looks like a rush like every once in a while and, it, and when you actually do hit a rush you know it, it doesn't look so obvious because you've been doing it for a couple rounds in a row but honestly if you're just doing a simple rush upper doing like three or even probably three out squeak two out hut is probably your best I like more out squeaky than hut but door nade, grenade I usually do door, flash, then smoke, because I think the flash is more important to hit first than the smoke. So I usually do nade, flash, smoke. And I usually run the smoke there so it hits more in the middle. And then that's honestly all you need. And your teammates should be like running with the nade, like boom, nade busts, the flash comes over, it tucks one second for the flash, and then they run out and check. There's always a guy running like right here doing the flash bang dance. But yeah, honestly, like, that, that that nade combo and one guy throwing this one, running with it. That's seriously all you need for an upper rush. Is one flash out of hut and the nade set it squeak. Simple as that. How do you wall bang someone in heaven from roof? Ah, uh, I mean, it's super simple, but honestly, it's not that good. Honestly, don't even waste my time, but... I don't even know the perfect lineup. I, I can obviously see, see it now, no clipping through the wall, but... So, like, what, third window over? So, I mean, like, that's pretty good. So you can go even between, like, third and fourth window, like, anywhere right here. Aiming at, you know, this height here. Pretty much headshot level for you is pretty good. You know, higher, even higher than that a little bit, like I was spraying before. My upper bullets will hit headshots. I don't really do that spam, though, to be honest. The only spam I go for is this one. But if I'm on a terrorist team, I love to do these two. If you're on terrorist, you jump up yellow. You want to clear out opposite. I call this whole lane opposite here. I go second window. And that pretty much spams the entire lane here. So if anyone's on this entire lane, it'll rapes them. And then if I do that, and if my outside's clear, like I have a teammate, like, out here covering my ass or something, I might do a spam down the first window here. Which goes all the way down Mustang. This whole lane. And I've, I've actually d I've done a couple of those kills on my stream. They're super simple. Like, if they're on the lane, they're gonna die on the rafter lanes. How about the scout speed boost no scope flying shot? What? <laughs> what are you talking about, GD? <laughs> is there a T smoke for heaven? Yeah, there is. I honestly don't see too many teams doing it anymore. And 
I'm not even sure I know it that well. We'll s we'll see if I can get it real quick before I explain it. Down smoke. Just kidding. Just kidding. Honestly, teams were doing this a lot. Like the professional teams were doing this a lot at first, and then I I don't know if I haven't been watching too many uh, pro matches or just teams don't do this anymore. But yeah. I changed my crosshair size so my my smoke's a little bit off. You need the window there, that's why I restarted the game. You need the window off. Pretty sure it's like just the middle of this container here. Well, I don't know it anymore. Do 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 John, how to make your performances in game always consistent? Well, you gotta get two things consistent. You know, your gameplay and your aiming. I would say the game's like 50-50, you know? 50% aim, 50% like game smarts. So you gotta get... What you should be really relying on more is your game smarts rather than your aim. And if you rely on your game smarts more, you should be more consistent. Even if you're having like a bad aim day. So if you're like super inconsistent, it's usually because... Well, my game's kinda lying. Usually it's because, you know, if your aim's on, you're good. If your aim's bad, you're bad. And if you're smart and you're making the right decisions your aim shouldn't have that much of a factor obviously it'll have somewhat of a factor but it won't have as big as an impact if your aim happens to be a little bit off because you're still setting yourself up well you know you're still trading well you're still doing the right moves setting yourself up properly and not doing dumb peaks and shit let's get an op here so, I mean you should be focusing honestly I I think focusing on like your gameplay more than your aim is but everyone seems to do the opposite. Everyone wants to deathmatch 24/7, and honestly, deathmatching—I've never been a fan of deathmatching. I think deathmatching is good for like a five-minute warm-up, and then that's pretty much all I use it for. I'm so low. What up, man? But uh, yeah, deathmatching. Like pe some people can be nuts in a deathmatch, and then they go in game and they suck. You should probably deathmatch how you're gonna play in game. So if you're gonna be spraying in game. You should seriously just deathmatch and spray. You shouldn't like one tap and deathmatch all the time. Like just, sh you know, headshot, one shots, and deathmatch. And then when you go in game, you're like a nervous, a nervous vagina, and you just spray every time you see someone, you know? So you should shoot in deathmatch like you're going to shoot in a match. It makes sense to me. I mean, sometimes, every once in a while, I'll pull out like, oh, I'll just shoot one bullet and just like fuck around. But a lot of the times, I'll just deathmatch like I'd shoot. If I seen a guy in a real match, because you're practicing for the match, you know. How do you find good angles? How do you v develop good movement around the map? Good angles? Well, honestly, the way y the way you should be thinking about every one of your moves, including your angles, Ghost, is you be you should be thinking about how the enemy is playing, and that's how you should be judging your moves. So if we're thinking about playing Turnpike here. You should probably never hold this angle here because think as a terrorist when you're coming out here what's the most obvious corner you're going to check or or pre-fire or be ready for is boom that corner right there everyone pre-fires that everyone expects someone to be there so it's always the most pre-aimed spot it's always the most you know like that's just a super obvious corner and you just got to think as a, a, an enemy like you're gonna expect someone to be here, so as a CT, don't play here, you know what I mean? If you're gonna play this corner here, you gotta be timing it well or playing like an off angle or an angle where the terrorist isn't gonna be cautious. So, such as, what I mean by like a cautious corner is kinda, if you peek a corner that is like to be juked or you know, he likes to know you're there, that's kind of a cautious corner for a terrorist. Usually the terrorist will let go of like turnpike focus right when they get past like here and they're on like this side of the turnpike because they're gonna be checking yellow they're gonna be checking close r right they're gonna be checking close left or headshot by then so when I play t the turnpike here I don't hold this angle here I let them think this is clear and then I play like an angle right here so that their guard is let down a little bit when they're checking other corners and not perfectly pre-aiming me here 
I mean, he could be preaming me here, but it's a lot less likely for him to be preaming here with all these other angles he hasn't cleared yet. So, yeah, playing angles like that. And you, you can peek these angles, but be the peeker. Don't be, like, you can't be stationary and go, and go too long. Like, if you're going to play this angle, play, like, a passive angle like I showed you. Passive, then swing into the aggressive one. Passive angle, then check that angle. Like, you always want to be the peeker. You don't want to be getting peeked on most of the time and go. Most of the time, like, that's the strategy. You want to be the peeker. And have the you know the surprise and the peeker's advantage, and if you're not, I mean this is really key if you're opping. It is still if you're rifling, but yeah, I like to play off angles and then I'll peek you know the more cautious angles every once in a while and drop back. Tips on T side nuke. Uh, T side nuke's hard, man. Especially if you're not playing with a team. I mean, even the best teams with the best strategies have trouble on nuke. Honestly, there's nothing really tips. I mean, just know all the nades. Like, coming out upper, you should know every single nade that could possibly help you. Going out squeaky, you should know every nade possible will help you. You know, hop into a server, learn learn the smokes. Smoke. If there's an upper headshot box, you smoke headshot. You can throw some flashes, whichever ones you want to do. Run with them. So you should always be like isolating like, you know, one spot, clearing out the others, wrap around the smoke. So, you know, having grenades that help you get out, you know, just simple stuff. So when that you go out, you know, uh, outside you should know some smokes. It's kind of hard to get some good outside smokes without a good teammate though. Because you need someone else that knows a smoke with you. I mean, T-side's hard. A lot of the times if you're playing by yourself, it's kind of got to go down to like just big plays, big individual plays. Show us flashes. Can you set up a mouse cam in the future? Uh maybe if I get that new that new cam. I might order a new camera soon, but the cord I have right now is too short to go. <laughs> How would you plant and hold A or B? <laughs> Power skill. How do you juke corners? Most of the time when you're juking a corner, it's because it's an there's an opera there. There's not really too much like useful things of shoot like peeking or juking corners if you're playing against an AK. He has thirty bullets, you know, he could spam the corner. Usually if you're gonna juke corners, it's gonna be against an opera. And the best way to juke corner is just you come close to the corner so that you know you stick out more when you put a little bit of your body and just you know you gotta just feel out where your body is. I mean if you're not that good at it you can do that new command and just you know get that get that jukey feel, make them shoot. And then once you once you make them shoot, you know knife them. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know if there's that good of uh, an example on new. Come me think here. <laughs> Trying to juke an opera don't recommend this juke. I mean, that juke's pointless because you might as well just jump over that. That juke is dumb. Don't do that juke. He's probably going to lay you out anyways, especially if he's opping like this crack and he's just holding the crack and you think you're juking like the headshot box guy. He's just going to rape you. Um, I guess you could like, I mean, I juking outside. I mean, I guess you can shoulder, you can jiggle peek this one a little bit. A lot of time you'll jiggle peek like the most obvious angles. Like, let me give you the most obvious angles, and you gotta know the most obvious angles. Like this one right here, this angle right here is obvious. Uh, this angle right here, obvious one. Like, that's why if I'm playing outside, I don't play the most obvious angle because everyone likes to jiggle, jiggle peek that box. So once again, I'll take like an off angle. No one's ever j jiggle peeking this corner. Like, who comes out? Someone will be cautious here, jiggle peek it. Oh, it's cleared. They put their guard down. No one's going to come out here and, like, jiggle peek this most of the time. Usually they jiggle peek the normal corners. Then they go up. They just hold in their strafe key and boom. That's when you just get them. So most of the time you don't want to be peeking corners that people are jiggle peeking. You can, but it's got to be well-timed. 